Hello everybody! Today we are going to talk about a new project by Google, namely their new operating system Chrome Flex. The main idea behind this lightweight system is to try and replace Windows, at least partially. It is designed for old and low-end hardware, so you will hardly be impressed by its performance. Talking of hardware, its requirements include a 64-bit AMD or Intel CPU, 4GB of RAM and 16GB of free space on a USB drive. To have the new operating system installed on your PC, you need a USB pen drive with at least 8GB of storage capacity. So, let's begin. For starters, you need to install a Chromebook Recover Utility. It's a Chrome extension that will help you install Chrome OS Flex on a USB drive. Open Chrome and follow the links. I'll put all of them in the description below the video. Install this extension by clicking on the button Add to Chrome. Then add extension. After that, open the Chromebook Recover Utility. Connect the USB drive and click Get started. In the next page, click Select a model from the list. From the drop-down menu, select Google Chrome OS Flex. At the next stage, select the same option. Choose your USB drive, click Continue and finally click Create now. The installation process will take 10 to 15 minutes depending on how fast your internet connection is. When the installation is complete, restart the computer and access its BIOS. I'll show you how to enter BIOS using one of its popular versions for illustration. You can do it by pressing a specific key or a key shortcut. The actual key to use depends on the manufacturer of your computer's motherboard. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. When you've entered BIOS, look for a menu containing boot settings. Usually it has a name like Boot or Setup. Jump to that tab. In the Boot Priority menu, change the device which should boot first. Use the up and down arrows to do that. You need to move your USB drive to the top of the list. When you get the boot priority right, press F10. When the computer restarts, you will see the welcome screen. Choose your interface language, click OK, then click Get started. At this stage, you can choose to install Chrome Flex or try it first by running it from the USB drive. I would recommend to run it from the removable drive, but if you want to install it, then follow the on-screen instructions. Click here to continue. It says that the installation of Chrome Flex will erase all the data. Click here to install it. Wait for the installation process to be over. In the end, the installer will remind you to take out the USB drive. Restart the computer and connect to the Internet. Click to continue. Accept the license agreement. The operating system will check for updates. Choose who is going to use this device. Then sign in to your Google account. You'll be suggested to sync your device. Also, you can enable Google Assistant. Or connect your phone to sync contacts and password with Google. After that, you'll see the desktop. In the bottom right corner, there is a panel that many of us know well. By clicking on it, you can access multiple settings such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, notifications, night light, screen capture and visibility. 
As to the interface, it looks very similar to what you can see on tablets. The interface can be minimized if necessary. In the middle of the taskbar you can see macOS style icons, which work in a very similar way. An indicator under the icon shows that the app is currently active. If an app has some notifications to show you, a dot appears on the icon, just like in an Android. As you right-click on an icon, the context menu appears. In the bottom left corner, there is a button looking similar to the Start button in Windows. This is where you can find the search feature and all installed applications. The settings are easy to understand. Network, Bluetooth, devices connected to your phone account and personalization options, if you feel like changing the wallpapers. If you are planning to use another language instead of English, add it by accessing the Language and Inputs menu. To switch between languages, use the key shortcut Ctrl Space. Also, you can enable Linux development environment. As to the apps, they are all web applications, and sometimes I fail to understand the logic of how they work. Some open in a browser and some in a separate window. If you want to add an app, Play Store is not available yet, so we can only download them from Chrome Web Store. Summing up, we can say that Google has done a tremendous amount of work to develop a lightweight operating system and adapt it for pretty old hardware by multiple manufacturers. The project they have presented is a really interesting one, and it's great that now we can try and install Chrome OS on any computer. And that is all for now. If you found this video interesting, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Ask questions in your comments. Thank you for watching and good luck! While you're watching this video, civilians in Ukraine are dying from attacks and bombardments on the Russian Federation. Putin's insane regime has attacked a peaceful country in the very heart of Europe. Support the Ukrainian army by making a contribution to the fund Come Back Alive. Use the QR code or the link below the video to transfer any amount of money that will boost Ukrainian resistance and help it counter Russia's dishonorable invasion.